Kipsock antibiotic resistant gonorrhea. There are about a million cases of gonorrhea in the US per year. Maybe half of those actually go undiagnosed though, because a lot of people who get gonorrhea don't have symptoms. So you've probably heard of a few cases of this antibiotic resistant gonorrhea that are now in the United States. So how did we get here? Bacteria are smart. They get to know the antibiotics and then they can mutate to become resistant against the antibiotics, and then the antibiotics don't really work. A single injection of sex trioxone is the best and frankly only option we really have to treat gonorrhea. This is not to be alarmist, because right now that one injection of sex trioxone is working really well. We also don't have a ton of evidence that gonorrhea is quickly becoming resistant to sex trioxone, but we know that it's going to at some point. And the pipeline for other antibiotics really isn't keeping up. This is why prevention of gonorrhea is super mega important. If you're sexually active, please get checked. It's always important to get checked where you play. If you put it in your mouth, get checked in your mouth. If you put it in your butt, get checked in your butt. If you put it in your vagina, get checked in your vagina or all of the above. Symptoms of gonorrhea vary depending on what reproductive organs you have. Unusual vaginal discharge, pain during penetration, bleeding between periods, pain in your lower belly, white, yellow, or green penile discharge, testicular pain, pain or burning when you pee, sometimes really bad, an itchy or scratchy throat, it can be hard to swallow, anal pain and discharge, and sometimes it's painful when you poop. Ultimately, remember barrier protection is your friend. The best way to prevent gonorrhea is to use some sort of barrier protection like a condom.